Welcome to our Planting Positivity podcast. You're going to be listening to the fabulous Jenny Eden, an award-winning author and life coach. You can follow Jenny on Twitter, Jenny Eden 84 There's also a Planting Positivity page on Facebook. But for now, just sit back and enjoy the show. Blooming Positivity. Over the last few episodes, we have covered planting positivity, watering positivity, growing positivity, sustaining positivity, weeding positivity and pruning positivity. And we are now entering the final phase of blooming positivity. I hope you've enjoyed the learning. I hope you've started to see some of the benefits as well as perhaps starting to see some results. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that the successful people feel worthy and do not feel guilt or shame. Successful people live wholeheartedly. They savour and enjoy all the moments. Most of us shun our emotions. We ignore them, hide them, refuse them. We numb them, not realising that you cannot selectively numb emotions. You numb them all. You need to release your fear. You need to know that you are enough. Be kinder and gentler to yourself. And this will radiate out to those around you. You are more than enough. You are crucial to the flow of energy around this universe. You make a difference. You influence people. You have an impact on those around you. Another reason for letting go is to prevent what happens when you have an imbalance of emotion. When you are too angry, too guilty, too resentful, too critical or too sad. It has been scientifically proven that resentment can cause cancer, that guilt causes pain, criticism can cause arthritis, fear causes a multitude of problems like ulcers, baldness, sores. It comes from blaming others and therefore you're giving away your power your inner strength, your faith in yourself. Take responsibility for your thoughts. Take control of them before they get out of control and manifest ailments, discomfort, displeasure and dis-ease in your life. Release and let go because you are in control. It's time to free yourself from your past today. Stop blaming other people. Everyone is doing the best they can with the knowledge and skills they have. But you can improve your knowledge. You can improve your skills. And in doing so, you can improve your life. Now you can deny this. You can slip into victim mode. It's not my fault. Everyone's out to get me. I can't change anything. You can deny this if you like. But seriously, what do you have to lose if you try this for just a few weeks? And potentially, you have everything to gain because you can control your thoughts and you can control what you feel. Over the last few episodes, you have moved through various manifesting stages, making your dreams a reality. And if you've undertaken the activities, you should now be in a personal bubble of reality, like your own happiness cloud that you have created. Because you will have experienced things, you will have manifested things into your life, You will have created situations and circumstances by focusing on specific thoughts. Here's another one of Louise Hay's affirmations. Every thought I think is creating my future. 
I hope that you have taken the time to provide a vision board in one form or another because this is what allows you to focus on what it is you hope to achieve. A vision board helps to shift your energetic vibration, the frequency you operate on, making you happy, positive and light. It also helps raise your energy and awareness. When you focus on what it is you hope to achieve, it cannot help but make you feel more joyful. The vision board is a very important part of the manifesting process. I hope that you've also worked on your gratitudes, the things you are grateful for. And I hope you do this every day, as well as daily thinking of the things that you love. If you've worked on these things daily, maybe even twice daily, then I believe you will by now have noticed a huge shift in your thinking. Until next time, love and light. Thank you for catching our amazing podcast, How to Plant Positivity to Sow Seeds for Success with Jenny Eden, an award-winning author and life coach. Keep listening and in no time you'll be thriving and blooming. Jenny is looking forward to sharing the journey with you. For more information on how to plant your positivity seeds, Read more about Jenny online, jennyeden.com, or follow her on Twitter, jennyeden84. That's Jenny with an I, not a Y. Thanks for listening.